Robin. I thought I'd jump on and do a live. I'm in the middle of um, making a whole bunch of Minnesopas for a um, for wholesale orders, but I also had a bunch of oils prepped. So I thought maybe I would jump on, do a live with um, getting some Bora Bora cut up. I'm getting a little bit low on that. So yeah, let's just cut to it. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna be using, I believe everything is na uh, Nurture Soap. So the Lemon Drop, Hello Spring, Blue Vibrance, and the Pink Vibrance. And then I will be using Bora Bora by, oh my gosh, I always forget what company it is because I don't put it on here. Um, hello, Jana. Um, oh, I always forget, it's not Rustic Essentials, it's, um, um, Oh, and it's not Aztec. I'll look it up. But um, Bora Bora, it's great. It's a really, uh, it's a very popular scent that a lot of people love in the summer. And I just happened to notice that I'm getting a little bit low. But this is kind of what we're shooting for. And then I did a hanger swirl on it, I think, last time. So because I'm addicted to hanger swirls, I don't know what to tell you. And let's see, let's just get this guy ready to go. Yeah, so I'm going to just get all my micas mixed up. But, let's see here, Jana, do you have any uh, big plans going on right now over the 4th of July weekend? If anybody else jumps on, we will ask questions or any topics for me to talk about because I don't really, I didn't really have any plans. I just thought I would jump on and start making soap. I'm going to try to get better. I want to, in theory, I would love to do lives every Wednesday for Wet Soap Wednesday. But um, that has been proving a little difficult with just other things that have been kind of popping on, popping up in general life. But I'm trying to get it where I always have shop hours on Wednesdays. So I could do a live, I think, in theory, like 9 o'clock my time. And then... By the time I got done, I would clean up, grab a little bite to eat, and open the doors for the shop. So I might always pull out a tablespoon of oil for my colors instead of mixing them in other separate containers. And then once I pour the batter out, separating everything. And then, because everything does get incorporated again anyway, and it just seems to work really well for me. I think I'm just using a half a teaspoon. I kind of like these to be a little bit, I like the colors to be a little bit lighter. All right, so then we have, I got all those, I'll just take a little spatula, mix these in. And when I pour the batter in, it'll just, it'll mix it really well. So I made a batch of my Minnesopas today, and I think I way over stick blended. Because I usually soap at like 85 to 95, 100 or somewhere in that general vicinity. And I'm soaping at room temperature today, which with the air conditioning on in Minnesota is about 75. And the first batch, seized terribly. I think I way over stick blended and so by the time I mixed everything went to go pour it into the um, huge molds that I use for the Minnesota bars. I, it turned rock hard. And I've never had it happen to that extent before. I've absolutely had things like Accelerate or um, like one of my fall ones, the Magic, um, Auto Magic, and that one is from Nature's, sorry, yeah, Nature's Garden. Um, that one accelerates pretty quick. It'll kind of rice a little bit, then you gotta, you know, work with it, get it in there. But, and I usually just kind of plop that one into the mold. And if I'm able to hang or swirl, I will, but yeah, no. So, and then the other four turned out magically today. So, I'm trying to get, I have tons of footage all the way through June right now but it's just been so busy with markets and just hanging out with friends and enjoying Minnesota summers. So I have a feeling that my weekly vlogs are just gonna be a hodgepodge of footage kind of getting put together and just having it 
out there. And I don't know if it's going to necessarily go in chronological order or if I'm going to go like categories. So we shall see. Yeah. All right. Everybody's mixed. All right. And then... So if you're popping on, say hi. Tell me where you're from. Do you have any big plans this weekend? And let's see here, where's my fly? There we go. So I tend to reuse my gloves quite a bit, but so after I think like two years is the last time I ordered a pack of these gloves, I am I needed to order another new pack. But, so I usually use the same pair of gloves. I usually wash them off real good and then let them dry out. And I'm usually able to get a couple of uses out of them. They do get a little baggy and then I can't handle that part. So that is when we decide to not do that no more. Ontario. Is that Ontario? Yes. There we go. I think, isn't that like summer? I think. Like Jerrica Zimmerman, she just moved down somewhere over that way, like in Washington or something. I think she's out that way. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Give me one second, guys. I have my little laptop off to the side so I can actually like, see your guys' comments and whatnot. So, ooh, all right, Leah, I am making Scotland. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's still crazy to me that people from like so far away in the world can be watching. I am making um, Bora Bora. So it's just a nice, beautiful, tropical scent. Um, it's, one of, it's a really good seller of mine for the summer and whatnot. And again, I can't remember who it's from. I think once I upload the video, maybe I'll put it in the comments because um, I don't want to spend time looking it up on my spreadsheets right now. But this is kind of what we're shooting for. So a little pink, blue, green, and yellow. And I'm thinking about fireworks. I'm not quite sure what the plan was. I didn't go up to my cabin because so I had a couple things I had to do in the, over the weekend. And I thought about maybe actually cruising up there maybe later on tonight and staying for Tuesday. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of the palm that settled at the bottom here. I'm telling you, the Chefman is powerful. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, I just, I kind of stayed in today and just been doing a whole soap session. I already made my date night today, and then what else did I make? Oh, I made my black raspberry vanilla. So I made five loaves of each of those, and we're going to make five loaves of the Bora Bora. So, I'm trying to hammer out 200 bars, or just a little under 200 bars by the time the day is over, plus all the Minnesopas. In each one of those bins uh, for the Minnesopas, I'm able to get... Roughly 35, 36 bars. And I hand cut all those. I have a video on my channel somewhere with that, but I hand cut those with a cookie cutter. Those are a labor of love, but they're so much fun. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I don't think I ever really actually understood how thick my accent was until I started this YouTube channel. And I feel like I say soap different too. Like so, I don't know. I just I feel. But yes, I do have a thick accent. That is for sure. I loved going down to the south when I went to Georgia, because I was the girl with the accent, and they call everybody ma'am, which up here is not something that a lot of women love, appreciate, or enjoy. So 
so now I'm got a little PTSD with the stick blending. I don't need to overdo that again. All right, here we go. I don't want to get everybody in view here. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Because this is the fun part where everything scrolls together. Um, I think we're going to add the yellow in. Are we in? We're in. Yay. Oh, I could be a ma'am all day long. I actually make one of my friend's kids call me ma'am. <laughs> I forgot to put the fragrance oil in. We'll just have to add it in bit by bit. I've absolutely started um, started hand uh, blending all my fragrance oils in because I noticed that it really does make a difference in the textures of the bars. So I used to always, when I'm trying to pull away from using titanium dioxide, I feel like now that I switched coconut oil to the Kirkland's from Costco. And I don't know if it's the coconut oil necessarily or what, but I've noticed that I haven't had to use white. And the regular batter for me is just, it is, it's just kind of like a pretty just natural white. Um, so I don't have to blend to make sure I don't get any of those little specks and stuff like that. So I don't know. Um, but when I used to like blend just, you know, say like the white part, I would think the textures of my bars would be a little bit different, and I didn't like that so much. Like they wouldn't be all, they wouldn't be completely smooth. So, all right, we'll just add a little bit in to everybody. I usually like to do it in a big batch, but it is what it is. <laughs> Um, Leah, no. Well, okay. So my live journey, um, and actually my last vlog, I kind of briefly touch on that. So I did my first like Instagram live just to kind of test it out and that went okay. I, I wasn't nearly as nervous as I thought I was going to be because I was like, you know, what do you talk about on these things? Who knows? Um, I mean, cause yeah, I'm standing in a room by myself. And then I did another one. So I did the hippie chick. So for my first live, I decided that I was going to do one of my five colored soaps. <laughs> and, you know, with my newly found love of my stock pots that are, you know, the bigger batches that I, you know, a bigger batch than I'm usually used to making. I've always been like four and a half or it was like eight. Now I'm up to with the stock pots. I've been getting comfortable doing it's my recipe or my oils are 10 pounds, we'll say 11 pounds, almost 11 pounds. Um, but still it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, so the first time I did the hippie chick, and if you go into my live, the, my past live videos, you'll see it, but I didn't have my phone. I thought like, cause my phone was on YouTube, it would just constantly, you know, stay on and it kept on shutting off and I couldn't figure out why. Well, it's cause I had my settings on for it to go off every five minutes. So um, that's why that one is in a two-part situation. And then the lilac, we figured that out. So I did the lilac. Um, but yeah, so uh, I would like to start doing lives like once a week. I don't know if it means that I'll always be making soap or if maybe I'll make other things, but no, I'm enjoying it. It's kind of fun to have people on here like asking questions and just knowing that people are like, I feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> I do spend a lot of time at the shop alone and then after I get done making soap in the morning hours because obviously this would not be customer friendly like if somebody walked into the shop right now I wouldn't be able to just go help them um, so I like to get the soap all that stuff done in the morning and then have time to you know either go sit in back drink some coffee I've been, I have a little grill in the back, so I've been actually grilling breakfast in the morning. I bought one of those little cast iron griddles and I put it right on top of the grill. So I do the, my um, Trader Joe's potatoes and some eggs. So that's been super yummy. Do, do, do. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I think we are good with that. 
All right, we have the fragrance, we have the color, we have the things. Okay, now let's take all of you out, get the molds. Do a little quick light tone so the molds on the bottom aren't covered. And I mean, let's be real, this will be a disaster zone in about two minutes. Farmers market season or the farmers markets have been in full effect now. I've done or weather has been about a god uh, about a good constant 80 90 degrees, so that's been super fun. Um, let's see here, what else? Oh, let's see here, let's get you guys more than ta da! There we go. Um, so setting up in the nice, super hot, fun sun has been awesome. I do a lot of like I feel like more of my markets are morning markets which is perfect. Like I can wake up at 5.30, I'm up and out of bed. I mean, I can jump out of bed at 5.30 in the morning and I am like ready for the day. So um, that's not really a problem for me per se. I'm one of those people that like, if I have to wait for something to happen later on in the day, I feel like I'm just wasting the day away. I won't start a project because I'm afraid if I can't finish the project before I need to be done and off doing something else that it'll just be a waste of, <laughs> I'm so half-assed backwards, but. So yeah, we'll just do a little bit of a drop swirl for this one, and then I'll go back in and I'll hang or swirl them. So yeah, if, um, is anybody, anybody else gonna go watch fireworks tonight? Or has anybody been out to like a cabin on a lake? Or is there any fun? things that people have done over the for well at least if you're in the u.s because we're celebrating fourth of july weekend do you have monday off i was shocked to find out how many companies or how many people do not have monday off which i thought i kind of thought that would just be a normal floating holiday but apparently that's not a thing so um yeah what are your dynamics I have started treating Mondays as like my Sunday kind of. My Mondays have now become my, just my personal day to kind of get chores done, enjoy time, you know, if I want to go hang out with a friend or go just do some of my own personal shopping. Cause I mean, typically I don't get much, I kind of play with hours and stuff like that. I don't get much traffic at the shop here. So. All right, I think we're just gonna everybody to the top at this point. Oh, you guys, this lemon drop from Nature or uh, yeah, Nurture Soap. Oh, it has to be one of my favorite yellows. It's stunning. Do, do, do. Let's see here. Let's add a little. Yeah, add a unit. Let's see a little bit low. All right, so we have a little bit of everybody for splattering at the end here. Let's grab the little hanger guy. My little hanger tool. I just use, um, I bought it off of Amazon. I think that there's a link in the description box of like all my other videos and it's not expensive, but I like it because if you had, you know, you can bend it however you want to. I was almost going to get the one I think from Nurture Soap, but I, it was, I couldn't remember. I know I like that I can bend this however I want to and it'll fit whatever. So I mean, if I end up using other molds or got a different size, I could use it in those much easier. And I'm addicted to the hanger swirl. I don't know what it is about it, which is why I kind of like a little bit of a thicker trace because I feel like you can see the pulls come through really nice and the design after it is hard. Wait, thanks for the towel though. Here we go. Uh, that would be pointless. Let's not do that yet. All right. We have yellow. So uh, thank you for liking the channel. Yeah, I don't know. I um, I think it's 
it's just going to kind of end up being a little bit of a mix of everything, just kind of a little, little bit of personal life, a little bit of, I mean, it won't be, it'll never shift to like more personal. Honestly, I don't think that my life is all that glamorous or there's just not enough content in my day-to-day -day normal life to be. And then I feel like some of the other stuff, like as far as like, I'm going to, you know, like going to the gym and all that kind of stuff, like it's not really, it's not a fitness channel. So, no, well, I might share that I went to the gym or what I did at the gym, but like I'll never like share being at the gym or, or the gym fit of the day. Yeah. But there's a couple of channels I like watching for like the fitness industry, or whatever. I like watching um, Buff Bunny. Um, her name is Heidi Summers. And then her boyfriend, Christian Guzman. I don't know, I just, I like their energy. I like their, they just always seem to have like a very positive outlook on stuff. Um, he owns a rather large gym down in Houston. They both have clothing lines or, you know, fitness lines um, or you know, fitness apparel, which is super comfortable. But um, Heidi from Buff Bunny, she's got all of her bags. She's got a travel bag, um, a backpack, a tote bag, if you've ever seen, I don't know if I've had, if I've ever shown up, maybe I'll try to load it in one of the things or whatever, but if you've ever seen me load my tote bag, it has a lunchbox in it, like at the bottom of the bag. Amazing. Like it's just, it's enough for an ice pack, you know, or a couple ice packs and you know, you can pop some food and snacks in while you're running some errands throughout the day and stuff. It just, it keeps me out of drive throughs It, you know, I'm able to always kind of keep my food and you know, I'm able to keep all my, you know, my laptop, my planner. I don't know, it's just, it's a great bag. I love the bag. So, I know I just bought the luggage version of it. I think that one might be sold out, but I can't imagine that she wouldn't be restocking it at some point, but um, that one has a ton of space. And it has like a zip off thing on the bottom. So like if you were traveling, you could put, you know, your shoes down there or something like that. But again, that one has like a little cooler in it. But I don't know, they, um, they just, they have a really good vibe. I enjoy watching them. And then, but yeah, but I have, like I said, I've got a lot of footage. I just need to actually put it all together. So I don't know if everything's gonna, I'm gonna guess that everything is just gonna be a hodgepodge of whatever just kind of I put together at this point. Cause I think I spent like, two hours last night just trying to organize footage from June. Forget it. I'm not. <laughs> we might just do like a market video. We might do like a me making soap and cutting the soap video. Oh, you guys, I'm out of blue. Ah, come back. No. Every last drop. Come on. You can do it. Ah. Well, this guy's not going to have much blue. Well, we scrapey scraped as much as we could. All right, let's go. The best part. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Everybody, but yeah, market season is in full swing right now. Um, so I'm doing about two to three markets a week, sometimes four, depending on just what the schedule is. Um, my market managers are fantastic. Uh, I don't run, I mean, obviously, craft shows are a little bit different, like, you can't just you know reschedule a craft show for the next week. But if there's like the first week of uh, Market in the Valley, which is over in the, like a Minneapolis burb, uh, I think the first week it, oh no, my transmission on my car is going out. That's why I canceled that one. But um, I think it ended up have, like was supposed to maybe rain a little bit too. So it was kind of like a little blessing in disguise because I don't think that I looked at the weather the day before that and it would have showed up. Um, but then I was able to go the next week and then the next week was supposed to maybe rain and then it was not supposed to rain. So I got there and then it rained while I was setting up and then it didn't rain and then I made good money and everything was good. But, oh, you know, the weather reports and you know, summer, summer's so much fun. But I 
have amazing market managers. So in the chance that like for some reason I can't make it, like they are, you know, I mean, obviously they always know that I'm not gonna come, but they're, you know, especially with soap vendors, they're always, you know, yeah, not a problem. Let us know if you wanna come next week or a different week or whatever. So I'm very fortunate with that. Again, like obviously craft shows aren't quite the same. Um, especially like the, like I did the St. Cloud uh, State University. They have a huge one I, and I took a little bit of footage for that one. So that'll end up somewhere in a wad. But, um, you know, that's a rain or shine one. And you know, some of the shows, you know, they say rain or shine. And if you don't show up, then sometimes you'll be banned from them or you have to take like a couple years punishment of not being able to join but um, that was a great show a um, couple little I, I'm still learning a few things and I don't know I may may or may not talk about those later but we'll see um yeah oh let's see here any more comments I'm a soap maker let's see here so now I'm Scotland okay you guys so I know like, you know, on the other side of the world, it's like opposite of us. So like we're in summer and a lot of places are in winter. So I'm assuming, what is like, what, like what temperature are you guys writing at right now? And like, do you do a lot of like farmer's markets or like that kind of thing or? Oh, you guys, I like it. It's so pretty. Well, you guys, I think this is it. And about another, I'm gonna probably go wash dishes, so I'm not gonna bring you with me for that. And I don't really have a lot of things to ramble on like I did for the lilac. But um, yeah, there's the good old Bora Bora. So I hope everybody that's here in the US, I'll take this off for a moment though. Um, I hope you guys are having a great holiday weekend and getting some family time and some R&R. &R. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> um, yeah, getting some R&R &R and all that good stuff and hope you enjoyed watching just a little Bora Bora. I mean, just kind of quick, simple and easy. And again, I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try, oh, so, um, not this, up, like, so not this week starting tomorrow, but the following week. I'm gonna try, uh, my goal is to do all of my holiday soaps um, every single day. So I wanna do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I think I, I think I have six soaps, so I think I have to do two in one day. Plus I have some embeds like the Grinch, like the little hat balls, and then I do the little like soap balls for another soap I do. Um, Auto Magic, that could, that could go south, like that might not work out. I don't know, like I said, that one's a very finicky uh, fragrance oil. But I'm planning on doing almost like, um, I wanna do a live Monday through Friday, like nine o'clock, and I wanna just do all my, so like a Christmas in July. And followed again by the Grinch. So <laughs> we're taking some risks, but we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy it, we're gonna have fun. Um, yeah, so if you have any requests of things you want me to do, try, I don't know, just, throw them out there and I'll see if I can make it happen or want to make it happen. But yes, have a good weekend. I will see you guys soon and thank you for tuning in. So, bye. I never know how to turn this thing off. Am I done? Uh-huh. <laughs>